Good morning, everyone. Today we will talk about uh, 5G. I mean, the core value of 5G. The most frequently questions I get is, uh, is it worth investing? How good is it? How can Korea make uh, such a rapid revenue growth of 5G? Well, it's not that clear whether we should start 5G unless we have a very clear vision what 5G will give us. This is done by the uh, study of uh, Economic Research Institute in Korea. They uh, expected that uh, by 2026, the revenue will go up, I mean, the GDP will go up 10% because of 5G, and it will create 600,000 jobs. Also, it says that uh, the ICT value will grow up uh, almost by one third to uh, $157 billion by 2026. And the export also will grow up uh, about one third, $76 billion by 2026. They say the, uh, the contribution of 5G would be great. Is it really true or not? Korean government and operators have faith in that study and they studied 5G. Okay, now what is the value of 5G by the way? Is it really giving you a new value? If you see this slide, um, uh, 2G gave you new mobility. You are off the hook and you can move around. You can go into the tunnel, subway or elevator and you are connected to almost anyone in the whole world. That's great value. For 3G, it gave you the access to the uh, internet network. Now you, you can enjoy the, all the information in the internet and you are connected to uh, social media and uh, you may send mail here and there you know, without any difficulties. So mobile internet is the key value of 3G which is also a great value. The value of 4G was video. Now people may have access to all the video things. Now you can watch TV, you can watch movies, now you can watch uh, you, uh, Netflix and YouTube and everything. Everything is going to uh, video these days because of this 4G. That's great value too. What is the value of 5G then? It should provide you some value beyond the video. Korean operators believed there is a very much new value of 5G and also it will give you so much economical gains out of 5G. So they began to invest. Well, this is the case of LG U+. It shows that uh, by uh, May of this year, 2020, it covered the Seoul and 85 big cities. And by the end of this year, it will cover 90% of the whole population in Korea. And 22, it will cover 100% of the whole populations, which is pretty much the same as uh, 4G coverage now in Korea. And those three colors means three vendors. And they are doing very actively and very well as well. Well, this is what LG Plus is claiming. They say it's superior to other players. Uh, but they are measuring the speed uh, two or three times a year. And it came out pretty much, you know, same. LG Plus is a little bit better in uh, metropolitan areas. And they are doing pretty well. Actually, LG Plus reached uh, over one gigabit per second speed with 5G, which is great value. 
I mean, with the fiber optics uh, landline, you could get to about 300 megabits, maybe 400 megabits. But with 5G, you could get one gigabit, which is great speed, phenomenal speed, actually. Now, with that speed, they have uh, come up with a new data plan. Actually, this data plan has changed a little bit as time goes by. But if you see the LTE data plan, data 69, that's $58 per month. And it gives you a 5 gigabyte per day, not 5 gigabyte a month, it's per day. It's unlimited. And if it is more than 5 gigabyte, it still provides the data, but with a speed of 5 megabit. Also, it gives you a 11 gigabyte uh, tethering data. If you move to a 5G data plan, it pretty much matches with the standard package, which is a few dollars more expensive than uh, 4G uh, data 69. And it gives you pretty much the same uh, data coverage, 150 gigabyte a month. And if it is go over 150, then the speed goes down to 5 megabits. And it also gives you 10 gigabyte um, tethering data package. Now, it's pretty much the same, except a few dollars more expensive for 5G, which is the price for the uh, higher speed than 4G. Most of people who come to 5G, they take a premium regular, which is um, $80. It's purely unlimited. It doesn't limit 5 megabits uh, speed at all. And it gives you 50 gigabyte tethering data as well. And it also gives you AR and VR services. So that makes a big difference. So people who choose 5G, we already have over 4 million subscribers in Korea, choose a premium regular, which is $80 per month package. As you see, you know, people choose 5G, the output surely will go up. And 4 million people already have 5G, so the output and revenue also go up too. LG Plus believe that um, there are three things that gives you market leader. Network coverage, data plan, and services, of course. But network coverage and data plan are pretty much similar to others. If somebody goes up, others follow, you know. So uh, I would say uh, they're pretty similar data co uh, network coverage and data plan. But services are different. So everybody's working very hard to provide uh, better services, the so-called killer services, killer applications. Now, what kind of services and how they uh, actually affect the uh, increase of ARPU and revenue, uh, I will talk about it to the next lecture. But um, these services will be the key thing to make 5G different from 4G. But this is quite uh, simple and uh, standard chart, but uh, it is important. This is the way to deploy network and uh, develop services. They have some plans and network is deployed and services will be developed and they put them out to a uh, market. But when, when they just do that, they would find that there is no much revenue increase or ARPU increase. The way to increase that is you get the feedback from the customers. Go to the market and get the response from the customers and you feed back to new network deployment and service development and you have to go through these feedback iterations at least three, four times. Then you will begin to see the increase of the revenue and output as well. Actually, Korea has started 5G pretty close to one 
year and six months ago. And they, they still have this kind of feedback iterations, but um, first a few iterations are very important. Get the customer response and put it back to your plan again. And slightly modify it and put it to a uh, to market and get the response back and feedback. You have to go through these iterations. Now, if you have just plan only, there is no revenue or RP increase. If you just go and deploy and uh, develop services, and there will be no uh, RP increase at all. But if you go back to uh, the feedback loop a few more times, you will begin to see it. So you have to go through this uh, uh, process anyway. Well, it takes time and uh, it costs money, but this is the way to deploy the network and develop the systems and get the revenue and the output increase. Thank you very much.